Hey, this is Danny from Weird and Wired, and this right here is a Wesley Flying V bass. Now, I've heard of Wesley for a few years. I've sort of seen him come up second hand. Uh, acrylic bodies that they use are the ones that really jump out to me as a real nice little plank that they have. Um, very cool, very quirky, and as I say, it's a name that I've been aware of, but I've never really known too much about them. I saw this advertised, um, and it said it was a Wesley bass. You can see that the headstock has been sanded down. Um, it was a little bit worse for wear when I picked it up. The entire neck had been sanded, still quite rough. So all I've done to this is smooth it out using some high grit sandpaper, add a little wood stain, sort of finish off what had been started. Otherwise, this is how I found it. So, Wesley, from the information I managed to find online, they were manufactured in England and there are two eras because there's two logos. There's a pre-2005 and a post-2005. This model of base, from what I've seen online as well, was after 2005. This is a just straight up <laughs> rock and roll machine. It's real cool, real slick black flying V base does what you want really. You've got two kind of soap bar style pickups. Um, they're not branded, I can't see any name on them and I've not found any information which specifies what they are exactly. You've got a three-way toggle switch to control them for just the neck pickup, both, and the bridge pickup. You've got a volume and a tone. You've got your input jack on the inside of the wing, which isn't always the most comfortable position. It sort of just sticks out. Um, so if you kind of want to sit down a bit, it's, uh, it's, it's not the most comfortable position, as I say. And I noticed as well the strap button on the body uh, on this wing has been moved onto the inside, um, sort of parallel with the input. There's not really a lot more to say about this. I'll give you guys a demo and you can hear how it sounds for yourselves. But it's just a real good all-round flying V bass and it has been very tempting I mean if you do pick one of these up I think it's a real good starting point for if you wanted to customize this further I mean I've been thinking of how to how to customize this maybe put some different colored hardware on it uh, maybe look at getting some different pickups putting an onboard fuzz I'm always quite tempted with that sort of thing I mean the cavity route there's kind of plenty of space in there if you did want to add in something else from what I've learned from this, this is a cracking little bass, and yeah, I'd say definitely check it out, and uh, you let me know what you think when you hear how it sounds.
have it. The Wesley Flying V base, the uh, sort of details are a little bit blurry. There's not a great deal of information. As I say, there's the Wesley Guitars website. John Wesley seems like a cool dude. So I mean, if you want to get in touch with him, if you have any questions, I'm sure he'd get back to you. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you've got one of these, or you've got another Wesley instrument, I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on it. And until next time, keep it weird and keep it wired. Hmm, weird and wired.